Peace world, this is Susie Analog and this is the Mad Baby Blog Volume 2. I'm excited to bring this to you. I've officially been in Tokyo for one week exactly and I've done so much. It feels like there's a lot of walking in Tokyo, there's a lot of moving in Tokyo, there's a lot of everything in Tokyo. And so I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been seeing. Pardon the roughness, please. It's 7 o'clock in the morning here. It's actually Friday, but it's early morning and the time difference is making me crazy. And the past week, I've been to Harajuku. I've been to Akihabara, which is the biggest electronics district um, with the biggest camera store. One of the biggest camera stores in the world called Yodabashi. Um, and I've been to Tokyo Fashion Week. To give you a little bit of my experience um, in the following video. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you want to see more of the experiences that I'm having, check my Polaroid section. I've been working on music since I've been here. Um, now that I'm settled, I'm about, I'm about to get started hardcore. So um, I have a really cool project idea that hopefully I'll share with you next week. Um, I hope everything is good over there, and stay tuned for Mad Baby Block Part two, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, This is my neighborhood in Hakadenababa. This is the huge hill I walk up every single morning. In Tokyo, it seems as though there's huge department stores everywhere you turn. In Akihabara, the biggest electronics district, you can find the craziest little gadgets. The reality of hip-hop culture is pervasive almost everywhere you turn. Recently on a trip to Harajuku, I stopped by a store called SWG, a store that seemed to be themed around a recording studio. Of course, this was the illest idea to me ever. I didn't know Common had a shoe coming out. This past week was Japan Fashion Week in Tokyo. Of course, I had to stop by a couple shows to see what was good in the Japan fashion scene. <laughs>